Welcome to Golf Life. We're so excited. We've got an amazing show today. And if we're going to tell you the story of the golf lifestyle, what better guy to join us than Dave Pels? He's dedicated his life to helping you get better. And he's also had the opportunity to build an amazing experience in his own backyard. As Dave says, I live on golf. And he really does. We're going to take you around this eight hole complex here at his home in Austin, Texas. Come on along. It's going to be a fun ride. I've lived on golf courses all my life. And my son uh, who built this backyard said, uh, you're no longer living on a golf course. You're living on golf. It took over our business <laughs> in a lot of ways for about two years. Uh, he became obsessed with it. If I had known how great this was, this life living on golf, it's very, very different than living on a golf course. It is the greatest thing in the world to get up in the morning and come out here and have coffee. I mean, without even having a golf club. I can putt in my backyard in my greens with my skivvies on. I don't have to dress for anybody. It's been one of the joys of my working life with my father to see this dream come true for him. Not many people would have the vision to design this and then to do it tested another level of gutsiness and then have it work out and stand the test of time. I mean, this is the sixth year of its existence in this hot Texas summers, and it's just been awesome to stand behind it and see it. I had a design, and then he actually came up with the idea, why don't you, instead of having this particular funky looking shape here as a target, because I was designing everything first. First time I ever designed this yard in my mind before we ever started the house. I, I thought target areas with feedback. I want to know if I'm a foot long or a yard long or two yards long or 10 yards long or same thing short. And so I had water everywhere and sand little bitty strips and stuff. And he said, well, that really looks weird. Why don't you make really good looking greens? And together we said, why don't we make greens the best greens in the world? I mean, I've been all over the world with this game. I love golf. I've, I've been in it for years and years. So I picked my favorite greens. And then we said, well, look, this one would fit here. Green one is 13 Augusta. Green two is 17 TPC, the island green you see behind me. We're here at 13 at Pebble is over my right shoulder. Around the corner here is 14 at Augusta with Rays Creek going in front of it. Then we've got 17 at Pebble Beach with the funny bunny bunker on the left and the, the two green type system connected in the middle. Then we've got a St. Andrews, the road hole down here. And then around the corner, we've got a hole inspired by Whistling Straits with a bunker that runs up the middle. So we, of course we shrunk everything, but we gave it a similar look. And uh, we incorporated three turf styles, putting turf, fairway turf, and rough to create the, the look and feel of those places. You don't need to have a backyard like I have. If you had one target green, or if you had these little target wedge distances, you know, I've built everything, every aspect of my game. I can do sand, I can do chipping, low running chips, I can do high soft flop shots, I can do normal pitch shots and wedges. Everything in golf, over water, over sand, it's just out of rough, out of fairway, off tight lies. I have every lie mixed in from every distance. Any guy that's really a golfer at heart would love to have golf in their backyard. Live on golf, get as close to it as you can, and the fact that it's even better than living right right next to a golf course because the neighbors all get mad at you. I mean, not looks, I've lived next to golf courses. When I snuck out on the course, people would report me. And oh, Pels is in the bunker again, or he's hitting putts, he's tracking up our greens. And of course, they're always cutting the thing. The mowers make an incredible noise. Nobody cuts my grass. My grass is cut exactly the right height every morning. It's freshly watered. There's no water out here, except my little streams. I love the little gurgle of sounding of rippling water. I love that but it's a perfect place to live if you're a golfer. 